Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to use the text-to-speech API in your Android Studio project. We can begin with a new Android Studio project. So here our application is created. So first we can create the user interface for the application. So here I place an edit text and a button. So we can enter some message through this edit text. So here the edit text with ID speech text. Now we can specify an on click method for the button. Now implement this method in the class file. So before going to use that API engine, we have to check whether that particular API engine is available on this device or not. So that is the first action. For that here I am going to create some integer variable. This is a final integer variable. I name it as TTS engine request. Initialize with some value. So now here I am going to use an indent to check whether this API is available or not. So check indent. Now specify an action for it. Action is engine node. Uh, check TDS data. Now start the activity for result. Pass the indent. Second parameter is the request call. So we can we will get the result on the on activity result method. So here we can check whether the API is available or not. So if the request code is our request code, now we can check the result. If result code is uh, text to speech dot engine dot voice data pass, that means API is available. If the API is not available, uh, we have to download that particular engine. So here we are going to perform the download operation using an indent. So I create the indent called install indent. Now specify an action for this indent. Text to speech dot engine dot uh, install TTS data. Now start activity. So this will install this API if it is not available. So and if the API is available, we can perform the speech operation. So create some variables for text to speech. Now we can initialize that variable. So text to speech equal to new text to speech. Here you need to pass two parameters. First one is the context. Second parameter is an init listener. So here I specify this as init listener. So we have to implement this interface in this class on init listener. Implement the needed method. So if the <coughs> when the engine status successfully, this method will be invoked. So here we can check the status. If status is text to speech dot success that means the api engine status successfully otherwise uh, we can inform the user it is failed uh, text to speech engine failed okay so if the status is okay we can first we can set the language here i'm going to set the language into local.us so now we have to check whether the language is available or not. It is supported or not. So if the language status dot equal to text to speech dot language missing data or a language status is equal to text to speech a language not available and uh, not supported. In that case also we can inform the user this particular language is not supported by this API. So language is not supported. Otherwise, we can perform this speech. So we have to get the message from the edit text. So first create variable for the edit text. I name it as text to for speech. Now initialize that edit text. Okay, so first we can get the message from the user. And text for speech to get data to string. Okay, now we can perform the speech operation. So text to speech and call the speak method. First parameter is the data. Second parameter is the queue mode. And final para parameter is a unique ID for this request. So we can simply pass null for it. Now 
<coughs> save the status into a variable called the speech status. Now check the status. If speech status equal to text to speech dot error, in that case inform the user. Error while speech. So now we can test our application. So I run the project. Now the project available on this virtual device. So here I'm going to type some message. So here I put some message. Now I'm going to perform speech. Hello, Pradesh. How are you? So this is how we use the text to speech API in our Android Studio project. I hope you understand the concept. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.